Hey everybody, this is a very honest review on the new belly band holster made by Comfort Tech. Now there's only a handful of uh, belly bands on the market and I have watched every YouTube video and I was convinced pretty much that this was the best one available, although it needs some improvements too. Let me give you an honest review, I'll be as quick as I can. Uh, they claim that it holds almost any semi-automatic and most carry revolvers. So these are my weapons. These are all been safety checked. I'm not going to go through them. The magazines are all out of them. I have a Ruger LC9 S Pro uh, subcompact. I guess they call this a compact. It's a Glock 26, 9mm. Then I have the duty size uh, Glock 17, which is not really a carry weapon, but I want to demonstrate something to you. And my newest purchase that I really love is my new uh, Ruger 357 SP-101. And um, this is a, a smaller revolver than the GP-100, the bigger brother. So let's begin with, um, let's begin with the Glock 17, okay? You put the gun in, here's the gun pouch, okay? Slide it in. And you want to make sure that this is not, you know, anything that can grab and pull the trigger. So something needs to be put. I, I watched a, a YouTube video. A guy had a little bit of uh, leather that he actually super glued on here because if you stitch it on, it prevents the gun holster from stretching and allowing the gun to go in. So it's kind of difficult. The one that I watched on YouTube, he easily could pull his trigger, but this is still something that needs to be investigated. Okay, Comfort Tech has this system here for a retention strap, okay? They started out with a little hook job you hook in. Now they have a snap. This is no good, okay? They thought this was the improvement. Let me demonstrate why. You're supposed to click the strap and pull the weapon. Look at my thumb. I'm all over that strap, okay? I can't get it out. That is a problem. And to cut this off and not use it, too many people report how they sit down and the gun starts working its way out of a belly band. So you do need a retention. What they need to do is like I have on my outside the waistband holsters, is they need to put this um, thumb brake. It's a firm piece of leather and you break the thumb, you, you break the snap away and uh, you can then draw the weapon. So this is not good. Another thing is they talk about how, you know, look at this Glock 17. It protrudes into my side. Okay, I get it. It's a large gun for, for carry. But the sight on the gun, in a panic situation, if I pull up, and even if I can get the strap out of the way, look, the sight is grabbing the belly band. You have to think to push it away to draw it out. Okay, so that's the Glock 17. And before I go on, they give you this here. Uh, this is a removable magazine pouch. Okay, really cool. It's not anywhere you, you know, you, you can put it anywhere you want. So you put it on. Here's the Glock 17 mag. Okay, it's the whole 17. The only issue is, the retention strap can't reach the snap. So this is a no, no go. Now you can use a Glock magazine. I can put this Glock 17 in my Glock 26, no problem. But um, I can't put a uh, vice versa. I can't put a smaller. So if I carry the Glock 26 mag, I can't put it in my Glock 17. So, here's a Glock 26 mag. Works fine, right? Fits over there. I've got me a mag. I can place it anywhere I want. But look what happens. This, this really kind of falls off. It's, these are sloped, and so that, that slides off. So they need to, they need to work uh, something, something different here. Okay? 
I've got the pinky grip on there. Uh, maybe the flush clip. Well, here's a flush bottom. But see how they're slanted? This just wants to slide off. Okay? Now, let me demonstrate the Glock 26. This uh, goes in there very nicely. The retention strap goes behind the uh, beaver tail, puts it on. The barrel does not protrude. The sight is not going to impede the draw. Everything is beautiful. This is a great fit. The only problem is, once again, in an emergency, I clip it. I try to draw my gun. I can't help from putting my thumb all over this strap, and I can't get my gun out. This is not cool. So something has to be worked out with this retention strap. There has to be a retention strap. Uh, I've seen them where they, you have a little pin, you can pull it off. But even if I try to, you know, in an emergency, you know, you can get it out, hopefully. Now, let me demonstrate the um, LC9S Pro. It's a wonderful gun, by the way. This one really fits like a glove. You stick it in there and you put the retention strap on. No issue with the sight on the bottom of the uh, uh, gun part there in the holster. Uh, but once again, I have to draw. It's quiet. They're, they've gotten away from ones that are Velcro because you, you, know, you want to be silent when you're trying to pull your gun out. You pull it out. I cannot keep from putting my hand and catching that strap. And then I don't have a good purchase on the gun. I might even drop it. I mean, who knows when I'm under a really tense situation, I'm fighting for my life or save the life of somebody else I love. So this is an issue and I think they should change it to the thumb brake. Now, with the um, magazine uh, that holds seven of the um, Ruger LC9S Pro, you put it in. This one, this one really, slides off you know and you could you then you could lose the mag they have this other pocket over here that you could put it in it's kind of loose uh, after a lot of complaints i mean you could put some money in there or your concealed weapon license i don't know what you'd put in there but um, people were talking about how they could fall out and it was too loose so they came up with this great idea and it is it fits it nice it's more snug but um this is sliding off. They need to have something that stretches over, double band, something. I don't know. So, finally, I have this 357. Now, this is a two pound gun and it's heavy, but I love carrying it. Um, let me demonstrate. This one, now, there are smaller revolvers. I think it's called an LCP or something. This fits in there fine. Uh, the barrel is protruding. The gun uh, sight is a slant, so it's really not going to impede the draw. But because of the way the gun is designed, there's really nothing in the retention here to hold it. It will keep it, but it's a loose deal, see? But it will keep it. It, it really distributes the weight well when you wear this kind of a heavy gun on your side because you really don't feel it. But, um, and that's no fault of the uh, comfort tack with this gun, but... I was really wanting to carry this weapon in this belly band, and um, I guess it's gonna have some retention, better than nothing, if it grabs the hammer. But anyway, uh, and of course there is no magazine for that, it's already got them in the, in the um, barrel. So it's a very handsome gun, uh, a, a holster. Um, they did improve it with this new breathable uh, material here that, um, you know, keeps you from sweating. But let me tell you folks, I live in Sarasota, Florida, and it's 100 degrees, and it's humid. And, you know, these used to be things that people would buy, especially women, to sweat. And so I don't think you're gonna, you know, prevent sweating. And the issue that I have now with that is I'm wringing wet right now. And if I put this on, okay, and my gun, moisture is, getting in on my steel part of my gun. So I'm afraid that I'm gonna get some rust. What about, well, this is stainless steel, so I don't have to worry about that too much. But the, uh, the other guns here, there's gonna be a lot of moisture absorbed 
into the uh, holster. I mean, I only wore it today for 15 minutes and I'm wringing wet. So, um, it's a very handsome holster. Uh, the Velcro is only about an inch wide that connects to any part of it, to your waist. I thought it was a lot more uh, Velcro, like down to here or something, because I don't want it to pull apart like that. They claimed it was the most best hook and loop Velcro on the market. Watch this. Pulls right off. What if I'm somewhere and, um, or sitting down or whatever, and seems to hold right there, but um, I don't know. So anyway, that's my review of the com uh, Comfort Tack um, Belly Band Holster. And they're selling a lot of them, but there's another one on the market that I'm going to investigate that looks to have more of a shield for sweating and uh, better uh, magazine uh, pouches. Okay, thanks very much for viewing, folks.